Hey guys, Portia here, and today I'm hanging out with my A1, my <laughs> daughter Maya, and we are gonna do a project together. You wanna tell them what we're doing? Yes, okay y'all, so I have so many pairs of lashes. She does. Can I keep up with them? Can um, I? So I need one place for them to be. So I asked my mama to make me a lash tray. So I ordered the mold off of Amazon. We are going to use some resin, the mold, and some embeds to get a lash tray created. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. All right, guys. So here is the lash tray mold that I was referring to. I picked this up from Amazon. I had no idea that it existed. Um, but our lash wearer here, she actually found it and she goes, hey mom, we gotta do this like we were talking about a few seconds ago. And we already have our resin ready, right Maya? Yes, so this is a clear resin. I mixed it with some holographic glitter, um, trying to give it that shine. I really love the warm tones, so I'm excited for this. Okay, cool. And then guys, one other thing is, so this is the color palette Maya picked out. I wanna show you my faux embeds. So she wanted to do like dry flowers and stuff like that. I didn't have any of that on hand. So what I went on ahead and did is use the print thin cut feature on the Cricut and we printed it out we cut it out but what i did do uh, was sheet all of our little embeds i sealed it with clear acrylic finisher so that it would not bleed i've used this method before and it works like a charm so you know that's a little tip for you guys so maya you want to go ahead and start pouring all right so maya wants to do two layers she wants to have a foreground and a background and that's enough for there dear for now we're gonna, you can go ahead and pour a little in there. And so our foreground is going to have all of our um, embeds in there. In the background, we're gonna come in with a couple of other different colors. Maya hasn't really decided on how she wanted to color that resin. But for now, we just wanna make sure the first layer is in there really good so that we have something to sit our um, embeds on top of. All right, Maya, are you ready to go ahead and add in your embeds? I am. All right, go for it. All right, guys, so Maya is done placing all of her faux embeds. I think so far, so good. I, I love uh, the direction that this is going already, and she's excited too. Um, so this is actually going to be the top of the lash tray, and this is going to be the bottom, the piece that actually holds the lashes. Now, Maya decided she wanted to go ahead and add some gold leaf, and I thought that this was a good time to do it right now, because in our final layer, our background, we're gonna end up with adding a little bit of a, a darker color, so we don't want the gold leaf to get lost. So yeah, guys, uh, we're gonna continue to add in our gold leaf. Uh, we are going to let this set for about two hours. Then we'll come back and work on our background. All right, y'all, it has been two hours. Um, here I am stirring the resin. Um, I add a little bit of mica so that it has like a pearlescent type of look to it. Um, what I'm gonna do next is add a little bit of acrylic paint to it because I want like a, a pale pink type of color. So let's see. So I think something like this is really nice. I didn't want not anything too heavy, so I, um, I think that this is a really nice color to go with. I love it, it is so pretty. Okay, let's give it a pour. Oh my God, y'all, I am obsessed already love it I'm really liking the like translucent pale pink type of shade and I like how you can still see the background all right y'all so I just finished pouring the resin in the mold um, it looks so pretty in pink I like how on the lid you can see the gold flakes I'm so excited for how it's gonna turn out. We're gonna leave it to sit overnight and we will unmold it. Tomorrow. All right guys, so our two pieces have set overnight. They are ready to come out. Now I do wanna point out to you guys, you may recognize that the top 
looks a little bit different. So me and Maya realized last night that we poured our layers um, in the wrong order. The pink layer should have went first and the clear embed layer should have gone last. So we went on ahead and fixed that mistake or else everything would have been in reverse. So make sure you understand how your molds work before you go talking about, hey, I'm about to do some layers and everything comes out backwards. So that's what was going to happen to us, but we caught it, yay. So yeah, um, we're gonna take this outside and um, see what go we got. And start with the top. This is what we have so far. And here it goes. Cute. So here, this is the bottom of the tray. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that looks so cute, Maya. Good job, baby. I enjoyed doing this project with you. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, let's see if we did it right. So, do the two okay. pieces fit? Yes. Okay, let me see the side. Nice. Very cute. So, yeah, guys, this is all I have for you today. If you have any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, let me know. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to Color Me Portia. But until next time, peace.